G'day guys, welcome back to Conquest Creations. I'm Sean, I'm here with uh, the leader of the group, Jacob. Thanks for having me on my own show, Sean. Yep. I'm just a friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so um, today I'm here to show off my Isengard army. sensational looking army yeah thanks wild color scheme but we'll get to that yeah yeah that when, soon. we have something a bit different but we'll, we'll talk about that when we yeah, get to that's it. it um so Jacob, just let us know about the army a bit where, where do you see them what's the deal well uh you actually see these guys a lot in the movies mainly in the tale of two towers these guys laid siege to helms deep um mm. that was their their main role their shining but moment. i've got um saruman leading my army obviously yes. the leader of the uruk he's a pretty awesome wizard and I've got Sharku in my army as well. He's the Wild Rider captain that took um, took Aragorn off the oh, edge of the cliff. Uh, and then the army is just a mix of troops, and um, we've got some berserkers. The key thing that I think sets my army apart from other Isengard armies is the demo charge. Oh yeah, and that thing is dangerous. Yeah, it's a lot uh, of fun. It's a it lot of fun. <laughs> and, Look, just just while we're on Sharku, I want to know about uh, he's got a little some special going on behind him. Well, Sharku, yeah, he's um. He's a gorgeous model. Um, the best thing about him, though, is he's got arseless chaps on. Oh, sense. So, uh, interesting choice from the design team, but... Um, respect. Yeah, I re respect. We respect that choice. Oh, 100%. Now, why would you want to play... Why would you want to play these guys? All What's right. good about them? What's good about Isengard? Now, this is, is going to sound a little bit strange, but I think everything is good about Isengard. Yes, they, they do seem to be a very nice all-rounded army. They, they can do everything really, really well. Um, but I wouldn't say they're necessarily the master of anything. And there's a bunch of different ways to build an Isengard list. Um, but the way that I play is with Saruman. Yes. Saruman's just a super strong wizard who gives you so much control over your enemies. So you can move their heroes around, you can blast them off their horses, uh, or you can just immobilize them. And in my army, that really ties in well with my favorite unit, the Demo Charge. The demo charge. Because the Demo Charge can go in and blow up, and if I... Pull your um, heroes out of position using Saruman, then I can walk in and blow them up with my demo charge. Yes, yes. Um, other than them, you've got the most solid troops you can get. They're, you know, fight four, strength four, defense six. That's pretty awesome. Uh, and you can take pikes and crossbows. So they're, they're really, really solid. Absolutely brutal. Yeah, that's it. Now, with Saruman, would you consider him the best caster? Besides Sauron, of course, because he does something else. But would you consider him to be top tier? I think, point for point, he is the most aggressive caster. Yeah. Um, so a lot of two pluses with him. A lot of two pluses. He can re-roll um, one dice when trying to cast magic. So he's really, really good. I think, point for point, he's my favorite wizard. Um, but other wizards have different things that set them apart. Uh, mainly, he doesn't have blinding light. So, you know, other heroes have that, which is really, really cool. And another thing, um, your captains got to be some of the best in the game in my opinion anyway the captains are absolutely awesome they're fight five strength five defense seven with a shield um my my rukai captains they've you know they very rarely die uh, and they'll oftentimes go toe-to-toe -to -toe with heroes that are just so much more expensive for them yeah no i, th I think it's a it's very very good army very well rounded jack of all trades master of none but yeah definitely perfect for uh for beginners in in yeah, I think okay. if you're looking at getting a, your first army, um, you can't go wrong with some Murakai captains and some Murakai warriors. Yeah, it's going to be sure. solid. Um, you know, it might take you a little while before you get to the demo team and Saruman. Saruman. Oh, but Saruman's difficult. That's too, great yeah. because it's an army that you can grow into as well. Yeah, no, perfect. Now, moving on to some other heroes. So we've got Grima over there now. He's a sneaky little bastard. Man, Grima is really good. If you don't want your opponent to have fun, <laughs> bring Grima. Yes. His ability is that any enemy hero within six inches of him that declares a heroic action, so a heroic move, a heroic strike, it costs him two might instead of one. Now, that's really, really good. And especially if uh, your opponent's got captains throwing in mm. there. Your captains want to do a move or a, or a combat. Grimmer sitting next to him is going to drain. It's just, yeah, completely. he changes the game. Um, he 
also can be deployed as a part of your enemy's army. Yeah. So it's like he's a spy that's infiltrated your ranks. Um, but generally, I don't do that because it's really easy to just put Get him trapped, five of your models world. around and then he's, he's out of the game. So yeah. I keep him with me and he just sits behind my lines and stays safe and... Works his... Wandering. Works his magic. Yeah, <laughs> he's a pain in the ass, isn't he? Yeah, he truly is. Yeah. And then uh, on to the bane of my uh, gaming existence, uh, Sharku. Sharku. Now, Sharku is is awesome. He's pretty much just a regular orc captain. But he's got Heroic March, but he's got an extra point of might, um, and he's got a wag. So he's he's not phenomenal, but he always manages to roll exceptionally oh, well. always. And he's got uh, that special rule as well, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, so he's got the Riding Dagger. That's Every it. time a hero makes a strike at him, but they fail to wound, then he does a Strength 4 hit to them. That is exceptional, and... It can really catch people off guard. There's been times where someone, he's been dismounted and he's been charged by a three attack hero. And, you know, they'll charge so they get four attacks. They knock him down so they get eight attacks. And, you know, they might wound him three times so he's dead. Yeah. But then he makes five strength four hits back <laughs> at them. Say goodbye to their horse and he's going to wound he's, them. Yeah. So it's, he's kind of like a little landmine that you can leave in your army. If you can get your opponents unknowingly to charge him with a few heroes, he can put out so much damage. It's awesome. Yeah, I personally just hate him because I can never win a combat <laughs> against him. Yeah, and he's great for <laughs> going in and calling heroic combats that he shouldn't and somehow yeah. getting them. <laughs> yeah, and we spoke about the captains, just incredible captains, and then you got your little converted war drum in there. Yeah, so the war drum, a hero, super easy conversion. He was just a pikeman, and I stuck a drum bit in one of his hands. Um, and he's really important to the army. Overall, the army's pretty slow as it is. I've only got Saruman and Shaku on Wag. Uh, but the drum allows you to move an extra three inches. So and long that's as great for your, your demo charge as well. Yeah, so that means my demo charge um, can go forwards nine inches, yeah. and then... If I march, he can go forwards 11 inches. And if Saruman casts some magic, he can move your hero if they're on a horse 5 inches. So you're up. never safe from that demo charge. What's that 16-inch threat range? 16-inch threat range against a hero on a horse. Yeah, Ooh. it's awesome. It's awesome. Deadly. Tactics. Well, what are some of your, your tactics? Yeah, here? so a lot of my tactics... I'll talk a little bit about the demo charge because that's yeah, where yeah. I think where my tactics with that's this army That's the center of this army, isn't it? Yeah, so... If the damage charge is within two inches of at least two other enemy models, it can be detonated. Yeah. I've got to pass a courage test, uh, which if I have a courage seven berserker, that's pretty <laughs> it's easy. It's going to happen. And then I roll on the demo table. On a one, it's a dud. I get to try again next turn with plus one. That's pretty good. <laughs> two through five, every model within two inches takes D6 wounds. You yeah. don't roll the wound or anything. It's D6 Just wounds. Just automatic. Yeah. yeah, so if... You know, if Boromir has three wounds, three fate, if I get a six, he doesn't even need to roll his fate. He's just, he's so, yeah. gone. Uh, and that in conjunction with Saruman's magic, I reckon my damage charge has killed 20 heroes. Oh, yeah, no, for sure. I've had mm. Tariel and Thranduil and Legolas being drawn into that I think bomb my, just... my best one was on, I got Tariel, Legolas and Thranduil in one turn. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, it, it does bits. It does a lot of work. And yeah, it's perfect for this army list, really. Especially and the way you play it as well. Yeah, yeah, this army list doesn't have any heroes with heroic strike. Uh, so the demo charge is my way of dealing with big with heroes. Strike. Yeah, because yeah. I don't need to fight them if I can just blow them up, right? Exactly, exactly. If they're dead, they're not going to fight. So. Exactly, so the demo <laughs> charge is, is perfect for that. Um, Beautiful. We've, we've got, um, moving on to otherwise, we'll go on to your crossbows here. Yeah, how so these you, crossbows. How do you run them? Um, I always just run them in, in a block. I generally take as many as I can, so my 33%. Yep. Uh, mine are just the siege troops with some dark elf crossbows in their hand. Yeah, um, no, they super are. easy conversion, and I think they look awesome. Like, a honestly, not flat cap helmet as well. Like, I'm, I'm yeah. a big fan of that. It's yeah. a nice little look. Not the biggest fan of the actual crossbow models after using these guys because they're so easy and they yeah. don't cost anything pretty much. <laughs> um, and crossbows are just so solid, so I can't yeah. move and shoot, but it's a strength 4 hit, which, which is... Dangerous. Yeah, it means that if I take, you know, eight of them, I'm out shooting most lists, even lists that have a lot of shooting. 100%. Um, so it's, 100%. they're very solid. And then we've just got your rank and file, your, your spears, or your pike, sorry. Yeah. Um, and your, your shields. Yeah, so I've got a bunch of shieldmen out here. But when I play my competitive 750 point list, I actually don't have any shieldmen. Um, because I have one third crossbows. A handful of berserkers, my demo team, and then the rest is just pikes. 
Alright. Because the pikes can support two ranks, so if I have one guy fighting combat, I can then have two extra attacks with the pikes coming in. You do in. run the risk of getting trapped though, don't you? Losing the fight. A little bit. So as long as you can go sideways, it's fine. I generally don't have them in a big block. Um, and I love even just having them set up. You know, I have one rank in the front, and then one rank of pikes. And if you just yeah. charge one of my guys, well then no matter where you charge, I'll still have heaps of attacks in. Yeah. No, so, that's, that's really, really powerful. Um, pikes are exceptional. And then of course I've got a banner. Banner's yes. essential in every army. There's only one in this army. You could probably take two. Take two. Yeah. yeah and I feel like with the small model count that, that it has, I think the one is enough, but... I personally, I go for two banners whenever I can. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I've got one more troop type. Oh, in this the Berserkers. List. Yeah, the Berserkers. Yes. Um, I wouldn't take a bunch of Berserkers. I've got three in my army, and I think that's the perfect amount for me, because they're pretty expensive. Yeah. Um, but they're Courage 7, which is the reason you take them. Uh, they're two attacks, but Defense 5. Um, so they're pretty squishy, but... They do have that special rule against shooting. They do, so they Defense 6 against shooting. Um, but if your Berserkers don't fight a single combat and they just sit on objectives, that's what they're there for. That's, so, yes, they have it's all awesome. the same. Yeah. yeah, no, they're perfect for Zinn there with that Courage 7, and with their fight and attacks, they're, they're good for getting through any troops that come and try and take it off you. So, yeah, absolutely. Uh, good, good troop choice. Yeah. Uh, now onto, onto the painting, this weird colour scheme that I absolutely adore. Yeah, so I've, I've had a lot of comments about the colour scheme on this, um, on this army, um, the main thing is I was um, overseas and I saw a bunch of old buildings that had, they used to have copper oxidized roofs copper. and it's oxidized. Yeah, and I thought that that color just looks so cool. And I said, what if the Urukai made their weapons out of copper and then they just didn't take care of them and it all oxidized. And that's how I settled on this color scheme. So surely they go minus one defense then. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll leave them out of there. They all have invisible shields then. Yeah, fair. <laughs> um, yeah, and look, I think with my painting, I always want to try to do something I've never seen before, and never seen this color before, so I was pretty happy with it. Yeah, no, with the uh, the red skin color and the uh, the nice green copper look, it is it just pops. Yeah, and then uh, what your inspiration for your rocky ground bases? Yeah, so these these bases, obviously, I went for flowers on these yeah. bases. Um, I really like that; it, it pops out a lot. Um, and these bases were the inspiration behind the rocky ground bases that you can find on the Conquest Creation web store. Perfect. And one more thing, if you like the look of this army and you want to get an army painted in a similar style, well, you can contact me at the Conquest Creation web store uh, where I offer commission painting. Highly recommend it. All right. Is that it? Anything else you want to say? Um, Go I Dave? Think the, no. I, I think Isengard is a great army to start with. Um, Start with captains and troops, and then when you're ready, add in Move on from there. add in Saruman, Saruman yeah. add in some of the heroes, and yeah, it's perfect. Beautiful. Cool. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, let us know what you want to see next in the Army Showcases. We'll see you next time.